you are welcome to this weight loss challenge and um, this is a kind of orientation class to let you know what you need what you need to do and how you need to go about the number of days you have signed in for when things change or if you have questions please send to the group i will gladly be there to answer you you are welcome to this life changing activity that will make you shed off the excess weight and live a healthier life my name is esther akapo and i am your coach now what do you need for this challenge by now you should have your meal plan and you should have your workout plan all those things have been sent to you immediately the meal plan the workout plan now the unique plan is two pages you have the first page for everybody the second page is for is for also patients and nursing mothers now for the first week you have four meals per day if you can take the four it's fine it depends on your consumption rate before now if you hit just two times per day it's fine if you hit three times per day it's fine if you hit more than three times per day it's okay it's also okay this is how you go about the week one if you hit two times pick any meal for that day and take them if you hit three times, pick any three and go for it. If you hit more than three, it is not more than four. Then your latest eating time should be 7 30, 8 pm. And then ensure that after eating, you don't sleep immediately. At least two hours, you don't sleep immediately. And those two hours is not supposed, you are not supposed to just be pressing for you lie down on the bed. You can walk around, use that to do one or two, or ensure you expend some calories after eating don't just eat and go straight to bed no so if you eat um three times and you still feel hungry that's when you go for the fruit if you are okay with the three times and you don't feel hungry it's fine i hope you understand so those four four meals can be taken and might not be taken two meals if you take two meals per day pick any two if you if you eat three times you can pick two fruits and if two meals and a fruit or you just go for three meals and if you know you have to eat more than three times then ensure it's not exceeding the four meals on the meal plan and avoid in between meals avoid in between meals i ate in the morning and this is around 11 i'm hungry and around 2 i'm still eating as long as the food is on the meal plan no if you are not an ulcer patient please don't do in between meals and then another thing about the meal plan for that week one is this ensure that you know your expended calories i already thought that nobody is on the group that has not gone through my free training but if per adventure you didn't do it or you missed it or you still need to learn it tell us on the group i'll send the link to to the video that explains how to calculate it so you go for your expended calories eat 500 calories lesser than whatever you calculate i already explained in the video how you will know the calories present in your food you need a kitchen skill but if you don't have a skill and you cannot pass through the stress of calculating then do portion control eat just three over four of what you used to eat before if you have a food flask cut out one over four it's the remaining three over four start with that that is how to do portion control don't starve yourself if you starve yourself the day you start eating well back you are going to regain the weight so what we do to monitor if really it's working for you is for you to give your reports you give daily reports you give weekly reports daily reports is the food you eat the exercises you do weekly report is your starting weight and your weight on that saturday so you need a skill if you don't have a skill measure get yourself weight in a specific pharmacy or anywhere maybe at a place of work don't wait here today wait in another place tomorrow wait in another place next tomorrow no choose a place for your weight measurement so week one meal plan is gone week two you take two cooked food from the meal plan one two cooked food from the meal plan one and one uncooked food uncooked food is your fruit and nuts 
your fruit and nuts. That is for meal plan two. Two cooked food and one uncooked food. Meal plan two. So you go back to meal plan one, choose any two food that you know you have in your kitchen shelf and go for them. So that's how the instruction follows for week three, week four is there, week five and week six. Ensure you give your reports. This will make me know the specific meal plan that is best for you. It will also make me know if per adventure what caused the weight gain is almost or it is the excess calories you took. The way the meal plan is structured is that it accommodates a lot of things that shows us what exactly is responsible for your excess fat. Then the workout plan, ensure you follow the workout plan. You can stretch it out. If you have to walk 5,000 steps per day, it's not, uh, you are not expected to do it once. You can spread it out, uh, walk 500 in the morning, walk another 1,000 days, and walk another 1,000 later and hold that and if you want to do it at a stretch it's fine then there is a video link that was sent that shows you how to do all those exercises some of us that cannot walk then go for the exercises you can do while sitting down some of us that have one challenge on the other go for the exercises that suits you that's why we have a whole list of them even for people with diastasis rectal there is a specific exercise for them go for that one for those of us that want to reduce belly fat, go for plank exercise. And when you are doing the plank exercise, don't do, because you want the belly fat to come down on time, don't do it um, at a stretch. When you are just starting, 20 seconds, 30 seconds is fine. The second day, 20, 30 seconds. And in the whole first week self, you can still do 20, 30 seconds. Then after that, go for one minute to don't go and uh, do planks for 30 minutes at the stretch when you are not used to it before you won't be able to walk the following day so take it one day at a time then your starting measurement is very very important your weight your starting belly measurement some of us want to lose excess fat in the hand excess fat in the thigh any part of your body you want to lose excess fat ensure you take the measurement then you have a journal get an exercise book to record all these things there's another video that will be sent to you on how to create structures for your health putting nutrition into consideration you need a notebook for that so ensure you have a notebook set aside for this weight loss journey i think i've exhausted everything on this let's move to the next slide okay the meal plan now we have different meal plans for different weeks fine meal plan for us patients and breastfeeding mom is on the second page there are no measurements because our nutritional needs differ there is no measurements on the meal plan because a nursing mother cannot use the same measurements with somebody that goes to work eight o'clock and comes back six o'clock in the night and that person cannot use the same measurement that a sit at home mom we use so our nutritional needs differ. There is no single measurement that will work for all of us on the group. That's why you should know the one that works particularly, particularly for you. And if you know you cannot calculate the expected calories, like I said, then go and just go for portion control. Reduce three by three by one over four. Go for three over four, but ensure you give your reports. If one over four is not working for you, you reduce. You go to reducing by two over four then eat two over four then your coach sells all the food items so and i can send to you anywhere with a small baby i do share the baby so you won't you won't have to spend more money um on transport and um, you won't spend much money in transporting to your sell all the food items so you can gladly request for all for my for my price list and I'll send to you, and they are all like Jenny Kage process. My honey is undiluted mushroom. Everything you need is on the group. By the end of 45 days, if you signed up for 60 days, by the end of 45 days, you should know the exact meal plan out of the six meal plans that work for you. Now, also patients and breastfeeding mom have just one because it takes a lot of time before your body adjusts. So when you use that and you give your reports, just state an ulcer patient 
and states a breastfeeding mom. That's the weekly report. So I'll know the next meal plan you should go for. But if you don't state it, I will think you just use the meal plan one on the week one. So offer patient and breastfeeding moms. It is not to shame you, but we want to work together to achieve the same goal. And this is a group thing, it's not a personal coaching. So just give your reports and state it there so that I will know the next meal plan you should go for. Now the workout plan I've also explained the daily work, the brisk work is compulsory for everybody. Then you now do other exercises. As it relates to where you want to lose weight, there are other links to exercises there. Start small and gradually increase the minutes. But if you cannot walk, please don't. Go for exercises you can do while sitting down. Give your reports. Daily reports of exercises with a screenshot or picture from the group. Daily reports your meals with a screenshot for corrections if necessary. You can participate in the work to keep it challenged, but that takes place on my Facebook page. If you are not interested, then just post your readings on the group here. If you post it on the Facebook page by the end of the month, we can easily calculate how many how many works you have, how many steps rather that you have for that month. So if you want that, then you are, because you have a specific post assigned to you. If you want to participate in the work to give it challenge, a specific post is assigned to you on my Facebook page, and that's where you drop your reports every day. So by the end of the month, we sum up all you have done, and there's always a, a gift for the best for the for the for the person with the highest number of works. Then you submit your weekly reports. I will send the format. The format is just the starting weight starting the starting measurement then week one your measurement week two your measurements week three your measurements you do it like that so that we can know how we can know sequentially how the thing is working for you so there are other activities on my community this is the link to my page if it's not clickable you can let me know i'll send to you ensure you follow that page it goes a long way to help you because every week there is a particular nutritional activity that is going on on the week this week that i recorded this video there is no junk no soda challenge we have the fruit week we have the detoxification week we have a lot of activities going on every particular week every week of the group so by the time you do that and you still do and you are still um on the weight loss challenge group you have a greater advantage to 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 live to eat healthy and to live healthy so there are several that post every day on activities to do as related to the activity of the week so don't miss out ensure you are following that page to get notification of all those activities then the weekly teachings and voice notes that will always be a weekly teaching based on the theme of the month. Then daily activities to help you stay through on this challenge will be sent daily to the group. Ensure you do everything and have it documented. Like I said earlier, get a notebook or an ETLD journal. The notebook will really help you. I have a journal, a 60 days journal, but it is not free and you will have to print it out to service a print it with a PDF file. If you can afford it, it's just 2,000 naira. If you cannot, get a notebook and record all, all, all activities. Thank you, thank you for joining me in this weight loss challenge. If you still have further questions, please ask and send to the group. If you have to substitute any meal on the meal plan, please ask. And it is not that you want to eat now. And you just send message to the group and you expect me to answer that very second i might not be on the phone if you know tomorrow's meal you don't have anything like that you can take on the meal plan ask for substitute i, I will not ask don't ask me for the substitute because if i give a substitute and you still don't have it it doesn't make sense check for what you have that I can substitute put it on the group can i take this instead of this if it's right i'll let you know if it's wrong i'll also let you know thank you and have a wonderful time with coach esther on the weight loss challenge group.